I ate so boom. Um, good evening, bonsoir. Um, it's Sunday, April 7th. Um, I don't have much to say. Um, <clears throat> checking in this week has been so painful. I posted my fibroid story yesterday, and it obviously it's an ongoing story, but um, this past week has been so painful, um, and I told you guys I had to leave work Friday because I was in so much pain. Saturday I had class. Um, I wasn't in as much pain. It was manageable. It would like um, come and go. Um, and then today, I'm not in any pain. It just, like, it flares up at times. So, I have a white shirt on, and I was making sure I didn't get any, because I'm painting. I painted, oh my gosh, I painted something yesterday for my roommate. Should I show it? I don't know if I'm going to post this before I give it to her. I'll show it. It's an elephant. Um, it's oil, so it's still wet. Um, I'm not done, obviously. I'm going to do the background now. But why did I say that? Oh, because I had touched it and I realized it was still wet. And I had it on my finger and then I just touched my shirt. So I wanted to make sure it wasn't on my shirt. But anyways. Um, so yeah, the pain... <clears throat> It's flares. Uh, these next two weeks, boy. This week, um, will have to be my last week of working because next week is my surgery. Whew. Like I said, I'm nervous because I never had a surgery before, but at the same time, I know God got me. I know I'm gonna be all right. I know I know I'm gonna get through it, and I know in the end everything will work out, and I'll be okay. So yeah, um, what else was I gonna say? Something I forgot to mention in my video yesterday about um doctors not taking your white doctors not taking black um um clients or patient symptoms serious. I had an abnormal pap you guys know how we have to have like the annual pap um smears or whatever i had an abnormal pap i want to say 2016 or 2017 hold on let this fire truck go by 2016 or 2017 i had an abnormal pap right and my um, old B at the time, this old white lady, I had her for years since I was in like 11th grade, 10th grade. Um, whew, so this old white lady, I had a pap with her and it was abnormal. And she said, oh, yeah, we'll just watch it. You know, I was telling her I kept going to the doctor like a lot because I was like having discomfort and stuff and one of the things I wrote down in my notes and I went back to look at my notes like from years ago I wrote down that I was having sharp pains going up the right side um like right here right here sharp pains shooting up shooting up shooting up shooting up sharp pains and um I told her that and she was like oh um are you sure I'm like yeah like oh what is your pain level I'd be like when is there it's a 10 and she was like oh well um well if it if it persists then we'll um 
look into it. But right now, um, you what we're what we'll have to do. This is what she said. What we'll have to do is stick a, a camera, a tiny little camera, inside your vagina, and um, to look all up in there and see what's going on. And that process, you don't want to go through that process, do you? You don't want to have to do that, do you? Like, she was, like, <clears throat> trying to, like, talk me out of my symptoms, basically. Like, she's trying to scare me into not wanting to get that ultrasound, the, the vaginal ultrasound, basically. So she's like, oh, you don't want to have to do that, do you? No. So, we'll just watch it for now. Obviously, it wasn't watched. And, hello, lo and behold, it, it's a, it was a fibroid. Because that's exactly where my fibroid is located, on the right side. So, it was a fibroid this whole time. And it was probably much smaller back then. Right now, and that's another thing I didn't mention. Um, it is the size of a large lemon. <sighs> so, yeah. That is it. That's all I want to say. Um, but maybe I'll see you guys later in the week. Who knows? All right, guys. Remember earlier I said that I was working on my, um, my roommate's painting? Well... It is finished. Took me, I sketched it out last week on Sunday and then I didn't touch it after that. And then yesterday I picked it up to start painting. I think I painted um, the actual elephant for about, I don't know, I wanna say like three hours. And then I finished. And then today I picked it back up. I started painting. The background and that and I started that at like two it's five so three hours so in total I would say it took me six hours to paint about 30 minutes to sketch six and a half hours and here is my final result. I'm so proud of it, you guys. I'm gonna keep it for myself because it's so pretty. I'm gonna keep it for myself, but she's gonna love it. Look at God. Look at what God blessed me with. <laughs> he blessed me with these hands. These hands to paint, to create the gift of creativity. Thank you. Bonsoir. It is Thursday, April 11th. Um, I need to do my hair. That's why it's in these two things. Um, I need to retwist my hair so bad. Uh... So, I, today, I was going to say I just, I didn't just, but this morning I got up at 8, went to my roommate's house. She lives like 25 minutes away from me, so I went there. We went to the gym because her gym is popping. We went to the gym over there. Son, when I tell you we had a fire workout, we had a fire workout. I had a fire workout on Tuesday, and my butt was hurting so bad on Wednesday yesterday. As I planned on going to the gym yesterday too, but I was like, yo, I can't even squeeze my butt. Like, it hurt so bad. <laughs> so we went today, this morning. Fire workout. Fire workout. I'm feeling good, like... We worked out, I had a, a protein smoothie. I'm feeling really good. I went to therapy right after. Um, well, took a shower at her house, then went straight to therapy. Now I'm home. I just made some avocado toast. I'm um, not really hungry because 
I had that smoothie and I had Chick-fil-A fries. Um, so, avocado toast now. I was gonna eat, I was gonna make another smoothie, but then I was like, mm, I'm gonna save it for later. Um, so, yeah, now I'm about to um, do my reading. I have to read a book and review it for class, which is due on the first Saturday of May. So I have a, like two weeks, but I haven't started the book at all. And it's a thick book. So I don't got work. So that's my plan for today. And that's that. So I'll talk to you guys later. I ate so boom. Um, can you tell something is different with my camera? <laughs> I bought this clip-on lens and it has like the the macro and the wide lens. So this is the wide lens. This is without. You can still kind of see it in the corner right there, but it's because I have my case on. Oh, my dad called me. Um, but I just got out of the shower because I just got out of work. It's 9.30. Um, I've been at work since 12.30. So, um, yeah, I don't have much to say. I just wanted to test this out, see how it looks. And I like it. So, I I'm going to do my hair this weekend. I promise. I'm, I've been looking busted. I need to retwist it so bad. I need to wash it. I was gonna do it like right before my surgery, so I could be you know fresh. But anyways, that is it. That's all I wanted to say. Nothing. All right. I'll see you guys later. This kind of looks weird. Does it, does it look blurry? Okay, maybe it's just my camera that's dirty. All right, here we go. Bonjour, Zami. Uh, it is I cannot hear I like I need my ears like declogged um it's Sunday wow well, I was about to say January wow it's Sunday April 14th Monday Tuesday Wednesday 14th yeah um I'm taking my bagel out of the toaster. Whew. I'm gonna put some avocado on it. Um, oh, my avocado. It kind of got like brown, but I'm gonna still eat it. Um, it is three days until surgery day. Whew. I'm ready, to be honest, I, I'm not even nervous. I cannot hear out of this ear. I'm not nervous, like I'm ready. I'm just ready to get it over with. That's where I'm at right now. So yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm just ready to get it over with, and that is that, like, uh, they're gonna call me the day before to let me know, like, what time I should, the, oh, what time my surgery is, whatever, whatever. Um, last night, I was up all night doing well not all night i was doing this girl's hair like the twist that um i did for myself for spring break i was doing this girl's hair like that 
Um, she came at, we started at 5.30 p.m. And we finished at like 11, a little after 11. Um, so yeah, um, it took me that long. Her hair, she's nat, she was natural. And her hair was, she didn't like stretch out or anything. It was just shrunken. Um, she said she had washed it like a few days before and then just left it. She said that she was blow drying it but fell asleep blow drying it, but I don't believe that because she was there was no evidence of any stretched hair anywhere. So that's why it kind of took me that long. Um, if her hair was stretched, it probably wouldn't have taken me that long, but. I digress um, yeah so I'm really not talking about anything I'm just spreading my avocado um, that's it I'm ready for the surgery I'm ready to get it over with I'm ready to be fibroid free um, a lot of people keep asking me if I'm gonna go back to eating meat after I get my fibers removed and the answer is no I do not plan on going back to eating meat um because I uh, I just I don't I don't have a desire to go back to eating like and when I was eating meat I was barely eating meat like I would eat chick like I would make chicken but I would barely eat it like I would pick at it um ground beef I loved ground beef especially in spaghetti um burgers i didn't i wasn't really a big fan of burgers um red meat i rarely ate red meat like um steak and all that i don't like steak i'm not a steak person um pork chops loved me some pork chops but yeah i don't plan on going back to eating meat like i'm living i'm fine i'm flourishing i'm as far as I know, like, she didn't call me, like, with some crazy blood test results or whatever. So, the only thing, I mean, I, I've been anemic all my life. Even when I was eating meat, I was still anemic. So, um, yeah, that's the only thing. And, yeah, I'm not going back. I don't think I'm going to go back to eating meat. Um, what else? Dairy. <sighs> Okay, the only thing I do not do is drink milk. I don't drink regular milk. I drink almond milk and everything, um, but I'm not that specific. Like if I, I'm not, in the beginning I was, and I'm like, yo, I'm not about to stress myself out over this. Like I was like reading all the ingredients, seeing if it had dairy or milk in there or whatever, whatever, cheese, blah, blah, blah. All the stuff that you're not supposed to be eating. And, I was like tiring myself like oh it was tiring being one of those hardcore uh, vegans or whatever I'm not about that like I'm not about that life I'm just my basics no meat no dairy no soy that was my basics and I was like okay that's it um but with dairy I do eat cheese every now and again not like by itself but I mean like baked macaroni and cheese come on Vegan cheese cannot compare to the real cheese and baked macaroni and cheese. So, I don't know if I give that up. But, I mean, I don't eat it, like, every single day. But when somebody does cook it, I'm going to eat it. Um, but that's it. Other than that, <clears throat> if I see, like, something I buy has, like, dairy and the ingredients I'm still gonna buy it and cook it I'm not being that hardcore so whatever it's my body I do what I want so it's 10 30 I'm gonna eat my breakfast 
and get ready for church. I'm going to see y'all later. Maybe. Maybe this will be the end of the vlog.